Grayson, it is so hot outside. It's hot outside, yes it is. I sure wish we had a swimming pool, but swimming pools take up a whole lot of space. How about a stock tank pool? A stock tank pool? That's a brilliant idea. <laughs> Let's make it happen. Well, the first thing we had to do was to find the right size stock tank. We found one in Shawnee at Atwoods that was a 10 foot stock tank with 28 inch walls. It holds about 1150 gallons. We went over to Shawnee and we picked it up, secured it and brought it back to the house. All right, so the goal is this is our little swimming pool area. Let me back up a little bit. <clears throat> See, Mr. Grayson, give us a thumbs up, Grayson. Nice. Um, right over there is where we're gonna put our stock tank. I had to level a high spot out. I'm gonna pull the sand over here and then we're gonna level it out. But what we need to do is where that spike is, is the center. So we're gonna take a piece of rebar and drill a hose, a hole in a two by four. So we're gonna do that now. Okay, so I got my bench here, got my helpers. Thumbs up, Ryan. Yeah! Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and this is a straight two by four. You can get these at your local hardware store for about $95. Um, and this is a piece of rebar. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill a hole. I put a, we're gonna put a hole at the, at the center, which is gonna be about five and a half feet. But I'm probably gonna drill a hole right here at six to put this down there through. And then we'll show you what it looks like. The next thing I'm gonna do is put this level and attach it to my board with these uh, zip ties. You can see the zip ties are on here. The purpose of what we're gonna do is we drill this hole and we're gonna take this piece of rebar, stick it through this hole, drive it into the ground, and then we're gonna put the sand out and level it in a circle. Okay, so you get the concept. Here's the rod with the hole through it and your level. We're gonna pour some sand all out in this area and then we're gonna spin this thing around and level it out. All right, so we put about 18 bags of sand out. This is a 10 foot pool. Put about 18 bags of sand out, kind of spread it out just generally in the shape of our uh, pool. We got the pivot point, we got the flat deal, the flat bar, and then the level. I got my beautiful assistants here, Ryan, Joseph, and Grayson. Hello. All right, Ryan is gonna pull it around in circles. So pull it around in circles slowly, Ryan. A little bit faster than that. Grayson, there you go, Grayson's helping. So what we're trying to do is just level it out. This is gonna be kind of the same principle as having a grader. Yeah, cause you don't, if you don't have a level pull, you'll drown. Yeah. And you don't want that to happen. Okay, so we'll make one round here and uh, and kind of adjust, see where it's at. Back on the concrete, I All right, stop. Okay, so we went around this thing about 40 times. Still a little bit low on the back corner, so we're gonna put another bag and spread it out over there. Go. So, we got that done, so now we need to lift the uh, tank up on the pad and then check it for level again. Okay, using a line level on either side with your beautiful assistance, you can keep it nice and snug, and you can see it's pretty close to level there. Yeah. Okay, so what I want to use for what they call an an inlet, which is the outlet from the pool. It's just a simple shower to drain I got at Lowe's. It's got a couple of different uh, gaskets that you would put inside and outside. You drill a hole, this threads up through there, 
Um, that's a slit fitting, which is gonna connect to here, connect to this elbow, that'll connect to this uh, valve, connect to here. It's gonna have this piece here, which will have uh, this adapter, have a slip joint here to here, and we'll have this. Now, this, this will eventually go to a, something I'm gonna to make to be like a vacuum for the pool, because it won't always come in through here. So what I'll be able to do is open up that, hook a hose on it back to a vacuum pump, of, or back to a nozzle of some sort, put it in the pool and vacuum stuff up after I uh, close this valve. And then this will come out, and then this piece will hook on to the hose over there. All right, so here's what it looks like. Got the switch to the on position so it'll flow from the tank through here. And this is just a quarter turn valve, which I said I'm gonna make a little tube to go through here. So what I would do is turn that on and turn this off and it'll just suck through here and then that'll go to the inlet on the pump. Friday night with the boys. All right, so here's what everything looks like. This will be the part that's inside and it's just a grate. We'll take that sticker off, obviously. There'll be a gasket that sits there. It'll poke through here. Um, but we wanna mount this to where it's not up here and caught on the swing where it has a flat piece. So I've marked that right there. I'll hand the camera to Ryan. We got that out we'll smooth this up but basically what's going to happen is we'll put this gasket on after we clean it up stick it through right here and then this piece will screw on mm -hmm. and that's where we'll have our little manifold pretty simple I it report. takes a little bit smaller bit this is a two and three quarters okay We'll put it right around here. You'll we'll make sure you got enough for this flange to be here. So that'll do the work. Oh, you okay? Yeah. Yeah. I want to have that thing stuck on my. Okay. So we'll clean this out and I'll show you how the valve goes on in just a minute. Okay. So this is a. This is the inlet. We're gonna clean up around here, and what I did was I took a razor blade for this poly and just kind of smoothed it up here. And uh, make sure that the gasket's clean. Wiped it off, wiped it off on the other side, and I'll stick it up, and you want this air inlet up, okay? Not down. Not down. Okay. But what if something blocks it from going up? Then you just have to turn it. So you get it pretty good finger tight. Also what I got is these shutoffs valves. This yeah. will help you when you go to change your filter. So this pretty simple, it just fits right here. Screws and on. And you stick that little gray dude in. Mm -hmm. You see it's got a lock and an unlock. The lock okay. and an unlock. And then in my pocket, I got the aerator. Ooh. So the aerator, what it does is it helps put some air into the stream as it's going back in, which helps you. So this has got a little. So you can breathe underwater? No, not so you can breathe underwater. A little bit more of the same over on this side. Let me smooth this out. sure that's clean I want to use two gaskets on this one here we'll put that one in and see how it fits and then I have to screw it into 
this piece here. And this is what it'll look like when it's hooked up. All right, so we're trying to fill it up. We've got our manifold built. Got our little flat spot for our pump. We gotta have some stairs. Okay, we'll get some stairs. And here's and Grayson the stairs. with his Amazon hat. Um. <laughs> and we got some stairs. <laughs> We got it mostly filled up. Um, here's kind of what it looks like. 